thoughts <laughs> on the current state of NFL officiating. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I'll say this. The, the speed and athleticism and how great these athletes are on sideline catches and reach out the ball on the goal line and all those things, it's tough. It's really, I, I give those guys a lot of credit. Uh, they're right more than they're a lot more than they're wrong, and, and I've been one to argue with them on the sidelines. When I go back and look We've at it. We've seen that a few times. Sir. Me? <laughs> But most of the time, they, they, they get it right and they do a good job. Um, I think that the uh, replay assist sped yep. up the game last year. I thought that was good, uh, that, that it really corrected some things uh, that were turned out to be obvious, and that was a good addition. And uh, I guess the one thing is always a question about is making uh, officials full-time, yep. uh, maybe at least the referees, where uh, you know, they have that constant uh, you know, talking about situations. And I think that's the biggest thing in the league is, as a coach is you just want consistency. And, yep. You know, sometimes you, you have games that are, are called tightly, and then the next week you feel like you're playing the same way, and, and it's not called tightly. And so, um, I don't know, maybe your thoughts on that? No, you're, you're right on the, the consistency. We all use that as our barometer. And I think it's the consistency in the calls on the field, the consistency from crew to crew, uh, which, as mm -hmm. you know, has varied, and we've tightened that a little bit in the past year. Uh, but, you know, I do think um, officials do an amazing job, it, but it is a fast game. And it's imperfect. I'm, I'm watching playoffs in other sports, and those guys are full time, and I'm seeing the same kind of controversy. So I think it's part of officiating. I think it's part of the position they're in—a difficult job. And we saw that a little bit this year. Right? You know, the, the Kansas City play with Buffalo. You know, that was an obvious offsides. Mm -hmm. The officials have to call that, no matter the moment. That's not fair to the other team. Buffalo would have had a, a legitimate right if that play had gone forward without a flag. So. We know they're in a tough spot, and I don't think they get enough credit for it, but we're always going to go for that perfection, and when we can use technology, replay is really the thing that we think we can use more of, and I think every year you've seen us, and you know this, because you've been a big proponent in the past, is let's use more of it. I'm going to put in my pitch, my annual pitch. <laughs> cameras on the goal line, cameras on the sideline, cameras on the end, on the end line. Yeah. That is the annual pitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last card. The NFL is the greatest league on earth. Why do you think that's the case? Uh, I think it always starts with the game. Uh, there's mm -hmm. so many aspects of the game that I think are appealing. Uh, the strategy, the contact, uh, the incredible athleticism. The fact that you have to play as a team is, uh, and how people come together. The fact that you have games that go from, uh, you know, a team way behind and a team comes back. Um, I just think uh, it's that kind of a game that uh, people love to root for, and it's an event. I think the fact that we're every week, you get the, the, the post-game criticism and the evaluations and try to break it down, and then you start looking to the next week and the excitement builds. I think that event is a big part of it, too. And you know, on the visiting side, when we go to the Way stadiums, there's a lot of people in the parking lot. There's a lot of tailgating. Yeah. It's not just the game. They get there and make it a, an oh, yeah. event, it's an but event. it's it's so competitive. The thing I love about the NFL is every week anybody can yeah. beat anybody, and anybody can lose to anybody. Uh, if you're not on your best, then you know you're probably not going to do well. So um, the way it's structured, both uh, you know from acquiring players and salary cap and competitively, it's uh, it really evens out, and, uh, and I love the competition of it. And we make it hard for you when you win. <laughs> you and do. you know we've had uh, we've had a team go from last to first. I think 19 out of the last 20 seasons. And to your point, that competitors we had 70 percent of our games within one score in the fourth yeah. quarter. Yeah. That's great football, great entertainment. It really is. Yeah. And well, thanks, great coach. Dude. Appreciate Enjoyed it, it, commissioner. Thank Appreciate you. It. Yeah. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> Appreciate it, Pat. <laughs> Just two guys joshing it up out there in the That's green room, chit-chatting about all the hot topics. Gave a couple fluff questions in the cards, you know, but had to get some, you know, actual conversation going there. Shout out to Connor, Tone, and Evan Fox getting that thing done. Shout out, boys. You know, they were tailing Bill Belichick over to the stage alongside McCarthy and a couple of security guards, watching Bill Belichick experience it all yeah. for the first time. We got a bunch of behind-the-scenes footage, too, that we're sending to him, you know, for him to enjoy. And 
maybe if he, you know, okays it, some stuff to put out. What a moment there with them just bullshitting over some cards. Yeah, the uh, when we walked up onto the stage for the first time and he looked like out over the crowd, he and he like had this like big smile over his face. I couldn't even imagine what was going through his his mind, but it was like one of the cooler things that I've probably ever seen as far as football is concerned. And watching those two, you know, the respect they have for Roger Goodell knows that Bill's a massive piece of football growing to where it is, AJ. You know, he knows that. There's huge mutual respect you can feel between those guys. And I, I like Rog saying he's amazed at the interest that the game has. Like That's one of the first things he said. And I guess it is. Like It probably does kind of amaze him every time they – it seems like whatever they try works out, doesn't it? it really Seven, does. 70% of games are one-score games. That's wild. Like, that is the part that Bill started talking about with the salary cap and like how they create parity and kind of force you into it. 19 out of the last 20 years, the team has gone from last to first that in their division. That's yeah. that nuts. That's, I had that's, no idea. That's, so the fan bases at least stay. Oh, yeah. Right. You know, you still got hope because all anybody's looking for is hope. Mm -hmm. And if you've seen other teams do it, it's like, that's great. Um, yeah, the, the growth of the draft, though, is stupid. Yeah. We asked them about it on Friday as well. It's like, 775,000 people, dude. Hip drop tackle. Didn't expect Bill Belichick to do that answer, yeah. but he's like, yeah, all right, teach him better. Mm -hmm. if you, it, it, that's basically what he's saying. Yeah. If we want this out, we got to coach it out. That's how we move on. And he knows big big player injuries, big market name injuries, not good for the league, not good for football, you know? Yeah, I like that he, he talks about the kickoff rule. Now, I feel like this is more of an offensive rule because <laughs> defensive coaches are not going to love this. And Raj knows that. Bill knows that. They know well, how it works. But, yeah, but an extra 1,500 plays is good for everybody, I think. Absolutely. And then they didn't really talk about keeping football football, but I did hear Raj say the coaches and players <laughs> always figure it out. Yep. You know, uh, they always figure True. it out, which I appreciate <laughs> because that's how Raj feels probably. Yeah. Hey, listen. We got talented enough coaches, talented enough players. They'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. But we can't be saying that about anything. We can't just be willy nilly tossing anything in there because the pros are going to figure it out, Con. No, like Bill saying that, it does make me feel as though a lot of the coaches, like you're saying, are probably feeling the same way. Like, yes, it sucks, but we can probably get this out of the way. It, it was cool just watching them to like interact off screen too. Like they're just a couple football guys at the end of the day. Obviously, one of them's a commissioner of the NFL. The other's the greatest coach and GM of all time. But like them just conversing. And like we didn't, you, you said thanks to us. We didn't do shit. We basically were just like, hey, that's where you're sitting. Do you want? Do you want to sit anywhere else? Is that okay? They're like, yeah, we do not care. Like we're here to talk football, and that's it. It, it was incredible to witness. It was all the interesting thing from my perspective, right? So Bill offers this up. He goes, you know, me and Roger gonna be in the same place. I could talk to him if you'd want me to talk to him. I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely would like that yeah, to happen. Course. I said, I thought you two hate each other. So anyways, I, I thought you two hate each other because, you know, the flake gate spike, everything, mm -hmm. that kind of happened. He goes, no, no, I have great respect for Roger or whatever. So I'm like, okay, I wonder how deep – that would have to be a very deep – because of everything they went through. Oh, yeah. For 20 years, they have a lot of respect for each other. Then all of a sudden, it's like, well, who's interviewing who then? I start thinking in my head, you know. Yeah. As somebody well, – I'm like, Rod doesn't want to interview anybody. Commissioner can't be interviewing people because then it looks like <laughs> – Yeah, right. Yeah, but exactly. then for Bill Belichick, like, is Bill Belichick interviewing anybody? about any <laughs> yeah, football related ever. So it was like the card thing was a uh, cool play. And as soon as I laid it out to Bill, Bill said, oh, I've seen this on the internet before. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, all, right. <laughs> yeah. all right, we are yeah. off and running. And uh, they kept that thing good. I yeah, think so it was nice and tight. Yep. For natural. Yeah, they were, they were both natural too, asking each other questions. Then once they're done with it, uh, Raj threw Ripping one it over. Up. Mm -hmm. Bill just ripped <laughs> it up. Like that was, that was Yeah, dope. those aren't TV hosts right there. No, yeah. no. You know, one of yeah. them has an Emmy. True. True. You know, because the top 100. Oh, yeah. Bill said it's his first it, interview. Bill said it is really my first interview ever, and he's talking to the commissioner in a very, like, unique, could be awkward situation for him not being actually in the war room for the first drive and in how, a long time. 48 years. How about him saying, uh, it's an honor to talk to you, Mr. Commissioner? Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. does he call him commissioner every time? Like.